Greetings. I am Dr. S. Monish Balaji. Today we will be talking about supraorbital ethmoidal air cells. Supraorbital ethmoidal air cell is an anterior ethmoidal cell that pneumatizes into the orbital plate of the frontal bone. This cell extends over the orbit and sometimes pneumatizes all the way to the lateral wall. The supraorbital air cells are an anatomical variant of the usual paranasal sinus air cells. These images show CT scan, coronal image on the left side and a transverse section on the right side. The yellow asterisks indicate the bilateral supraorbital ethmoidal air cells. Now we are able to observe the presence of a red arrow which actually indicates the ethmoidal notch about which we will be talking about later. The supraorbital ethmoidal air cells consist of cells originating from the anterior ethmoidal group of air cells which extend posteriorly and superiorly over the orbit from the frontal recess. They may resemble septated frontal sinuses as their posterior wall is the skull base. This image is actually that of a septated frontal sinus and not a supraorbital ethmoidal air cell. These cells are due to pneumatization of the orbital plate of the frontal bone posterior to the frontal sinus and the frontal recess. They usually drain into the lateral aspect of the frontal recess. They are identified in approximately 25-35% to of subjects and can be multiple in up to 5% of individuals. What is the clinical significance of the supraorbital ethmoidal air cell? It is that when such an air cell is present, there is a high chance that the anterior ethmoidal artery can be traveling freely within the ethmoidal air cells and is at high risk of injury during FIS. So, it must be identified in the investigations done prior to the surgery to minimize the chances of arterial injury. So, how can this be done? It can be done using the nipple or pyramidal sign which is there is a triangular evagination of the lamina papricia between the superior oblique and the medial rectus muscles. This acts as a pointer towards the anterior ethmoidal artery which can be identified thus and arterial injury can be avoided. In the image depicted on the left there is the presence of an anterior ethmoidal notch in an individual in whom the supraorbital ethmoidal cells are not present. On the right, the same anterior ethmoidal notch is seen in an individual with supraorbital ethmoidal air cells. This image demonstrates the nipple or pyramid sign in the left side. We can see there is an invagination of the lamina papricia between the superior oblique and the medial rectus muscles which gives appearance of a nipple or a pyramid and points to the anterior ethmoidal artery. This is actually the anterior ethmoidal notch and is acting as an indicator for identification of the artery prior to surgery. The clinical significance is that these cells may contribute to obstructing the frontal recess and may be mistaken preoperatively for the frontal recess. Often this cell can be completely missed by the endoscopic sinus surgeon, especially when it is hidden behind the bulla lamellae. Thank you.